This is a machine. I cannot believe this is happening. What if they say no? Um, oh, this is such a big <laughs> decision. <laughs> Morning! Today is a pretty good day. We are test driving this. The Lucas um, Exige 380. Yeah. <laughs> Hethel, to be exact, is where we are right now. Josh and I, yes. out of the blue, have ended up in England. We're in England, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we are here to test drive this, the XZ380, because as you guys know, I am selling my Elise, and I haven't done a huge amount of test drives of other cars. I mean, I did the RS3 and, and a few others, but Lotus called me up and said, we just released this new car, which I had posted online, had kind of hinted that I loved, and they said, do you want to come over and test it? So I called Josh up, first flight over, and we are here now to try this car out. I mean, the dream, the dream would be to get one of these, but they are brand new and, and just slightly, I reckon, out of reach. I mean, this is going to need to be bloody good. I already love the Exige S and I said that that is a big contender so I've been looking at secondhand Exige S's but I haven't made any decisions so far. So it's just going to be really interesting to see the improvements they've made on this car and see what's happening. So let me walk you around this specific car. You guys are smart so you know that because it's an Exige 380 instead of the 350 which it is coming above in, in the Lotus sort of lineup uh, means that it's got 380 horsepower. Don't need to be a rocket scientist <laughs> to figure that one out. Same engine, just small tweaks. It's got little things that I am personally in love with. For example, it's got more of an Evora 400 exhaust. So it sounds completely different to the 350, even more different to the Exige S that we drove. It is literally a cluster of, <laughs> you know the word, of carbon fiber. That is no bad thing, that is a brilliant thing. So wing here, carbon fiber. The fuser, carbon fiber. Side skirt, carbon fiber. Engine cover, carbon fiber. Roof, carbon fiber. Front access panel, it's called, carbon fiber. And you guessed it, inside there is more carbon fiber. Why don't we do that, uh, you know, journalist walking into the <laughs> car kind of thing. The theory behind it is they wanted it to be basically just a more extreme version of what the 350 Sport already was. So more power, more lightness, less weight, and more downforce. So bigger wing, you got little aero down the front there, which overlay a cheeky little image right now. Little aero down there, which adds more downforce in the front, slightly wider tires in the front as well. Um, overall, I think it's about 70 kilos lighter than the 350, which makes a big difference to performance. It doesn't sound like much, but it actually genuinely has a big effect on how it gets around the track and how it gets around the corners. And then differences inside, things like carbon fiber seats as well, which have come in to save weight. and. One of my personal favorite things, which is not new because it was in the 350 as well, but it's just so special. Ugh, this open gated gear shift. As you guys know, my favorite cars in the world, my favorite company is Pagani. And this is sort of modeled after that. Not directly, it was just inspired, I, I imagine, by Pagani. It is an open gated gear shifter, so you can see everything that's going on. And it is, you've tried it out, haven't you? The yeah. most satisfying Very feeling. selective. I haven't, oh, by the way, I haven't driven this car yet. No. <laughs> I've just, we've gotten it to this part of the track. Uh, I haven't experienced this car in any way before. So all I've done is just moved it like this when we were looking around, you know, deciding what we were gonna film just now. So, so cool that they've done that. Little things that are different like Alcantara steering wheel, the carbon seats I mentioned, which are really nice and feel actually just as comfortable as the ones before and hold you in a bit better. Small other difference, you've got the name of the person who's built the engine down here, John Richards on this car. Carbon all the way over here which is lovely and actually makes this gap slightly bigger so when you have to get in people like Josh who are giants <laughs> can actually get into this car now. I really want to stop talking now and I just want to get started. I want you to stop talking and I want you to start driving. I really want to start driving. Let's do it. We're in. Are you ready? Let's get ready to drive this thing. Oh this has changed. Compared, look down here, compared to the uh, compared to the S we were driving this is all buttons now to go from sport and race and engine start. Ready? Fancy stuff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> kind of hoping this isn't this isn't good, yep. um, but I'm also really hoping it's fantastic because I love Lotus <laughs> and I want it for them. Oh, did you hear that? Oh. Valve shut. 
valves open. Let's do this. Oh, clutch is really easy, much easier than in the S we drove. To the track, we're on the Hethel Lotus test track driving this car. These are my, the first time I have driven in this car ever. Make it easy at first. Oh. Oh. That is just so nice. That is so sexy. Oh. Unreal. I don't want to be that guy who drives a car for a tiny bit and says it's amazing, but. This much throttle travel, right? <laughs> the noise is on another level compared to the Exige 350 or S that we've sort of had a bit of experience with before. It's very much like the um, the Vora 400. Right, we got a chicane here. Hold on, Josh. Holding on. Ready? Let's see how this feels. Oh. That was a piece of cake. I feel like I was going to <laughs> that too quick. Amount of grip, front end grip is ridiculous. <laughs> Mate! Okay, also want to point out, I can't floor it for a few reasons. One, we didn't put helmets on, which we're supposed to have to floor it, so we can't go too fast. Two, it's very, very greasy. I'm going to do a few laps now with Josh, and then we're going to make our minds up. Okay, so let's switch the camera off. Do a few laps and then report back on how it feels. we drove so it feels considerably faster which you wouldn't think with only 30 more horsepower no. but because of the weight and just the general the noise and everything you're sitting in these carbon seats it just feels like so much more of a beast um, oh, oh, oh you amazing amazing machine <laughs> I'm not allowed to switch traction off so understeer Not to 60, three and a half seconds. Three and a half seconds. Do you realize how quick that is? That's its proper supercar territory. So, my favorite thing is about this car the noise, the performance, obviously, but also this gear shift is something else, mate. when I change gear. Oh. The way it feels on track is like it was, and it was, developed here and it's meant to be here. As I say, the grip, even though it's wet now and we can't push it too hard, you can just feel that there is so much grip. It's ready to give. 380 horsepower, 1,100 kilos, I believe. And a lot, a lot of character. There is a lot more aero work going on, so there's a lot more grip and I, I just can't stress enough how sexy this gearbox feels. It is genuinely just so nice and little details just like... All of the new materials they've used on the inside, Alcantara, higher quality leather, new seats, carbon fibre. the track no big deal because it was clearly developed for the track being the hardcore exige oh, it's just you're just in sync with 
with the cars. This car is an extension of my body right now. Oh, so, let's then also take on the road, because clearly it was developed for the track, but no car is perfect unless it's good on the road, so. Although I could do this all day, let's also take another world Q hyperspeed. We are taking it out on the road now. It is time to do some actual, can, I can't see, can you see? <laughs> time to do some actual road driving. Because we've tried it out on the track. Actually, first thing to do for when you're on the road, is switch the valves off. We're in touring mode. Is it comfy? Right, we've been driving for, for a few minutes now. The suspension is not... Let's not kid ourselves, there's no rolls. It is a very, very sporty ride. But it's really, look, if I put my foot down a bit, it's really not that loud. It's pretty quiet. It's really not that bad at all, and very usable. The gearbox is easy, smooth. It's very, this is very usable, isn't it? It is. This is just brilliant. There is nothing, nothing I could wish more from this car. Well, I mean, it would be nice if, if you had like heated seats and it was really comfortable too, but that's not what I'm in this for. If you want a daily driver, get yourself a daily driver. If you want a proper sports car, at this price point, this is the way to go. And Lotus have also, they're doing this new Lotus exclusive thing, which is basically similar to McLaren's MSO, where you can personalize your car. Yeah, Josh. <laughs> ah, so yeah, sorry, you can personalize your car and sort of whatever you ask them to do, they'll, they'll do it. So it's pretty, this is nuts. You like it, aren't you? Mate, it's like, I like the Exige a lot. Um, 4C, I liked, but not a massive fan. RS3, brilliant car, not what I'm looking for. But this is, this is a supercar. This is genuinely feels like a supercar. It's got supercar speed, not 16, 3.5. And just around a track, it will destroy a lot of supercars. It's got supercar presence size it's not a tiny car but it's i mean it's not cheap but it's a reasonable price you're liking it i can tell how can you not do you hear those gear shifts yeah I'm sorry, but that is the best gear shift I have ever experienced. <laughs> the, the selectiveness is amazing. Oh, oh. And I like what they've done with the interior and all the carbon. When I, when I, what I'm looking at right now are two massive blue wheel arches and a sea of carbon fiber in front. Hey, if you like it so much, and I know you like it, see? This specific this car. This specific car is like you. All over. Me. Me. I don't know, it takes so much money. But like, you know what? Listen. I reckon let's do it. Let's do it! No. I think so, man. No I think way. This has to be, not this car, not this specific one, because they won't sell me this one. Right. What do you think you're going to get? I think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna Shut order up. one. I think we go back right now and I order one. This is not supposed to happen. Shut up. Mate, you know what? It's actually within... It's expensive. There's it's no within way. my budget. It's Come within on. my budget. Yeah, I didn't tell you this when, when we were coming here, but I'm actually like, I was seriously considering this car. And this, look, there is no doubt in my mind right now, this has to be done. When you know, you know. I think it was this way, right? Yeah. So you actually like things Wait. In... Um Oh this is such a big decision. <laughs> Mate, let's do it. it. I'm not joking. It. I'm not joking. Oh my god. I'm not joking. If you get this I'm not okay, yeah. Screw it. 
Oh. Let's go place an order right now. But do you reckon they'll? Oh, how long do you reckon it'll take God. to get here? I don't know. I think it's. Worth I can't it. believe it. High five me right now. High five. Just got yes. in a new car. Yes. Exceed the eighty, my brother. <laughs> we're doing it. Let's do it. Mate, are you sure you want to do this? Hey, we're back. We're back here. Are now. you sure? The minute you go through these gates and you go and tell them, there's no going back. Well, I have to place the deposit now, don't I, if we want it soon. There's no going back. Like, this is full blown. Okay, those barriers right there. They're the that's, barriers that's, to the future. Yeah, you have to decide. Mate, mate, I think th this is what I was looking for. Yeah, there is mean. nothing more that I could want from this car especially at this price point so yeah let's do it let's go let's go place a deposit we need to decide on spec and stuff after but if I just place a deposit now we can decide on all of that afterwards I don't know how long it'll take them to build the well, do you know what even where to begin on the spec I have no idea mate oh. well I have a few ideas actually it's quite wide yep. is it, this is it. we bought a new car this Ding is from the like low range lotus to the biggest baddest one this is happening <laughs> i can't wait to see their face i cannot believe this is happening what if they say no then why would they say no i don't know can i buy a car <laughs> from you no oh, it's got parking sensors i can see nothing out of the back i don't no. care though that's it see that's the thing hold on just stay here for a second and just think before you do this it's within my budget let's yeah let's go over it Okay, it's within my budget, and I, I, like, there's the competition, and then there's how much I like this. It's like a different league of how much I like this. And I could get it, like, in my own spec. If I go through Lotus Exclusive and try not to spend an absolute fortune, mm. I could genuinely get this spec out in what I want it to be. It's an Exige 380. It's, like, the top of the top of what they're doing right now. It's brand new as well. My first brand new car. Are you sure? What do you think? What would you do? It is the craziest car I've been in for this money. Yeah. It's mad. The power. The power is crazy. You won't get the grip. anywhere near this sort of power. And also just like wow factor for a car. In this price point, you won't get this sort of performance or wow factor from a car, especially not a brand new car. Mm. So... You can do it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's you, do it. You, you buy a car? I'm... <gasps> Are you buying a car? I think so, man. I think I think so. Have you just bought your car? Hey, I've just decided that. I've just realized it doesn't have um, that sun is visors. Least oh. We can't it's buy not it. not happening. We can't do it. Not happening. No, um... Yeah, I think we just bought a car. Well, we haven't yet, but I think we're about to buy a car. Is that just now the new title? Because that's not what it was going to be. It's going to be it was be testing. test drive. <laughs> What's it going to be? Just bought a new car or something? Oh my god. Oh my god, Sam! Lotus do this to me. They tickled me under the balls. <laughs> That was inappropriate. Well, we're kind of steaming up in there as well, right? I'm getting out. I'm going to get out of this car and instantly be broke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, this is the most expensive test drive I've ever been on. <sighs> right. <laughs> Onwards. <laughs> Are we allowed to film here? Listen, if you buy a car, you're allowed to film it. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe. Who's through here? Oh. oh. Yes! It's like a history war of Lotus stuff. That is amazing. How hard can it be to place an order for a car? Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Should I be doing this? Yes. Yes, definitely. I think so. Definitely. I 100% think so. Look at this. This is crazy. This is crazy. That's cool. Gold wheels. Gotta love gold wheels. Where? Right there. Gold wheels. Get it. Get it. If you don't find someone... I honestly... I swear... No, it's only one floor. <laughs> it's <about laughs> where we've walked up so far. Uh, nope. Alright, let's see if there's anyone here. This is, this is the conference room where we're at. Uh, so maybe there's something in here. Okay. Right. We should. Right. Hello, hello. Hi, sir. 
I have left the car outside, all done with it. Perfect. Uh, one, one small other thing. Do you think I can base a deposit for it? Absolutely, come on in. <laughs> See you guys later. Hey, yo. Quick cap saying it, Saturday in the mouth. No Juliet for no Romeo and no Doug.